What it is, my Tenno, Peace and Grease here, and today we're going to be talking about Mastery Rank 31 test, or 30 plus 1, or Legendary 1, or whatever the hell we're going to call it. More than likely, we're just going to call it 31. But today we're going to talk about how I got through this Mastery Rank test, because i got to say this is probably one of the more challenging Mastery Rank tests that I can recall of in, in recent memory. Uh, and then we're also going to talk about the rewards for actually getting through this mastery rank test. Um, now, we're going to start with that one. And I got to say that I was really hopeful that we had turned a corner on mastery rank. And DE was really trying to reform the, this mastery rank system into a fun and exciting system that players were excited to engage with every time they got the opportunity. But sadly, with this MR test, it seems like we're right back to square one. You can expect the traditional reacting capacity increase and ribbon mount capacity and faction standing and focus standing. You can't expect the icon that we got in MR30. You won't get one here. Furthermore, the emote that we got for Mastery Rank 30 you won't get one here either. Uh, and to compound all of these things, DE has gone and just completely mucked up the emblem up here on the left-hand corner of the screen. Unfortunately, you're used to with Mastery Rank when you're at Mastery Rank 12, for example, it'll say 12 down here below your glyph. If you're at MR20, same thing. Now, however, DE has gone and put this back to Mastery Rank 1. Now, DE is comprised of human beings. We are all fallible. We all make mistakes and poor decisions, and that's exactly what has happened here. Going back to number one on Mastery Rank now looks as if players that are at 31 are MR1. In fact, this complicates matters tremendously when it comes to trying to squat up people to, with people to run relics or any of this sort of thing. I tried to help a guy out just the other day who wanted help with the Ropa Lowest. When I showed up, he asked me if I wanted help. And I said, what are you talking about? I'm here to help you. And his response was, you can't help me, mate. You're an MR1. And that, then I had to go through and try and explain that I'm not MR1. And of course, he thought I was trolling him. So this has done nothing but create problems. Now, every player you run into are going to assume that you're Mastery Rank 1, and you're going to have to explain to each and every one of them no, I'm not Mastery Rank 1. I'm Mastery Rank 31. So this has done nothing but complicate matters. So if DE wants to put this little one diamond over on top of this uh, Mastery Rank icon, that's fine. But leave it at MR31, 32, 33, etc. And be done with it. It doesn't have to be that complicated. DE, you're just doing too much here. Now, with all of that being said, you may think, okay, so taking the Mastery Rank 31 test is a complete and total waste of my time. Well, that's going to be for each player to decide. Me personally, knowing what I know now, I probably would have held off on taking my Mastery Rank 31 test. But for you to have all the information, I got to tell you that if you take and successfully complete the Mastery Rank 31 test, you are going to get a legendary core for doing so. Now, this is really cool, albeit it's, it's a little late. If you're at Mastery Rank 20 or 25 or 30, chances are you have already have all the mods you commonly use upgraded. So the only way this is really going to benefit us is if DE adds bigger mods down the line, which they may do. Not to look a gift horse in the mouth, I mean, at the very least, you could potentially just sell it for platinum. So there is always that. But again, that's kind of for you to decide whether or not the Legendary Core is worth your time to take this test. And for some players, I assume, sure, it probably would be. For other players, maybe not. It, again, it's going to be up to each player to decide. Now, let's talk about the system that I use to actually get through this Mastery Rank test. Now, I use Nidus, obviously. You could probably get away with the Naros. Now, the reason I, I'm suggesting these two Warframes is they recoup lost health over time. If you give them a few seconds, they will recoup that health. And a regular Warframe, when you take damage to health, the only way for you to get that back is to pick up a health orb, get a buff from a teammate, which you don't have in these MR tests. So unfortunately, you're kind of limited on what Warframes you're going to choose. Again, I went with Nidus, my favorite Warframe. 
Anaros will work the same. We will recuperate lost health where other Warframes won't. Now, as you'll see from my footage here at the end of the video, you're on a very small platform with about eight or nine columns. You don't want to fall off because then there's that couple of seconds of lag where your player goes through a standing animation and you're taking damage. Uh, first of all, there are three waves. Enemies are, start at level 80 plus and go up from there. You have no Warframe abilities. You have no gear wheel. You have no melee. You have no secondary. The only thing that you have is your primary. That's it. That's all you got. No Warframe abilities or anything. So my idea for this system this test, which it actually worked, was I removed all of the power strength, duration, range, uh, all off of my Nidus build, and I focused on just my health, armor pool, speed, things of that nature. So as you see here, I got vitality and fiber. This is going to give me bigger health pool, more armor, which is going to be beneficial. I used an unranked rush with no uh, because I didn't have the capacity, and that's why I also didn't run the other Umbral mod. Uh, as well, because they didn't have the capacity. I'm running uh, Adaption and Rolling Guard. That's going to be very beneficial. Your Arcanes don't matter. These I just had on here because I was screwing around with them. But Adaption and Rolling Guard are going to be particularly useful here. Uh, armored Agility is going to give me more armor plus a little bit more sprint speed. Aviator is going to reduce the damage I take while I'm jumping around, when I'm running around in circles. So that's kind of the system. This could be refined. This could be improved. Use this if you want to. Improve it if you want to or don't. It's kind of up to you. As far as my primary weapon, I went with the Kuba Agris. Now, the idea here is focused around Nightwatch Napalm. And what I wanted to accomplish was letting that Napalm do the damage for me. I, didn't, I just basically wanted to run around, surviving, reducing the amount of damage I take, and letting Nightwatch Napalm destroy them, which is why I'm running Primed Firestorm. This is going to increase the blast radius, thus it's going to increase that napalm. So essentially, I can just lob a Kuba Agra shell in the middle of the platform, and everything catches on fire. This has the bonus effect of enemies panicking, which means they're not attacking you, which means you're not taking damage, which gives you time to recoup your health. So with Primed Firestorm and Nightwatch Napalm, I literally just had to continually lob shells and just keep running and jumping and juking and jiving and dodging and letting the Nightwatch Napalm kill the enemies for me. As I said already, these enemies start at level 80 plus in the first wave and they go up successively or increase that level with each successive wave. So this system worked pretty well. Uh, as you can see from my Agris build, it's pretty basic. Serration, Heavy Cal, Split Chamber, and then of course Thermite and uh, Thermite Rounds to increase that blast as well. Uh, the ribbon I have does increase my damage by 190%, which is nice, but that reload speed is really what benefits. If you don't have an, a ribbon mod, you could probably get away with throwing a reload mod on there, and because that's going to be kind of the slowest part of the Kuba Agris is that reload. So again, this could be refined, this could be improved, but that system worked pretty damn well as you'll see here in a moment with my MR31 footage. So with all that being said, uh, let me know what you guys and gals think down in the comments section below. I respond to everybody that does. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just let the MR31 test of my footage just kind of play through so you can kind of see how I navigated this test. Again, pretty challenging test for a mastery rank test. I didn't expect it to be thus, but it all, it all kind of worked out in my benefit. But until next time, peace out. Tenno must be a master of all their weapons. Prove yourself with your primary weapon.
formidable performance. This test is now complete. Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno.